You guys cannot believe what I sold on eBay and you guys are going to want to watch this video because if you land this item, sell it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Tony and on this episode of what sold, what I sold on eBay, I'm going to show you what I sold in the month of May so that way if you come across these items or if you're thinking about buying these items from liquidation and you see them, maybe you can sell them too. It's a way to help you guys out to see what you can sell based upon what I sold, if it works for you. Hopefully it does, and hopefully this video helps you get a clear, concise picture of what sells on eBay and what you can sell. All right, without much delay, let's get to it. So the first thing I sold is an Amberdeen Multi-System Menopause Vitamin or Supplement. And so if you get supplements, naturally, they do sell on eBay, and um, Relatively for me, supplements have gone really well because another two items I have been able to sell was a Hairfinity Candy Locks supplement and also a collagen from NeoCell. Now collagens are super in demand and I can tell you because I usually send collagens overseas to the country of Peru. So they're always in demand. Either someone locally, if you know somebody Hispanic that likes to send stuff to South America or to Central America, or simply just listening. If you know somebody who sends stuff to Central America, South America, or simply just posting collagens on eBay, they do flip over really quickly and you can make a really nice profit depending on the brand. Now the brand that I got, NeoCell, usually I got it at about $4 and I sold it for like about $12.95, one at $11.99. So they do sell around the range of $11.99 and $12.95. So expect to make a pretty decent profit from just selling a collagen. Another thing I sold is the Big Sinus Inhaler. And that pretty much is relatively an inhaler machine. So that's also pretty good to sell. Inhalers, they're, inhalers are always in the market. So if you post one up or you come across it, it's in good condition, I recommend to sell it. And believe it or not, I actually sold maxi pads from the brand Always and I sold them overseas to somebody in the Caribbean. So it's worth the while putting maxi pads on there. I sold, I think two or three always maxi pads. And the one that stood out was the one that sold for $23.99 cause it was a large count one. So uh, if you do get them on your hands from a liquidation box, if you don't sell them locally, I do recommend posting them on eBay. They do sell and it's worth taking a chance on. Another supplement that if you do get your hands on is an Ollie's Women's Multivitamin. Ollie's is actually a pretty good brand and well-known brand to sell. If you do get Ollie's, you're in luck. You're able to sell those. The brand that I got, or well, the supplement that I got sold for about $34.18. So sell them if you get your hands on them. Another supplement that sold really well is the Shift Move Free. Now I sold three of them. And because I have three varieties that came in my liquidation box from the bulk unboxing that I did. If you haven't taken a look at that video, I'll leave the card up above and you can take a look. So I sold all three of them in the month of May and the last two sold in the last days of May. But at the end of the day, I sold all three of them. So if you do get your hands on move free joint supplements, list them right away. They are in demand, people will buy them. Surprisingly, I was able to sell a liposine supplement and that's like a weight loss supplement for people that are interested in weight loss. Uh, but they do sell, so if you do get them, make sure you sell them. I sold them for like, uh, about, if I'm not mistaken, $23.95 with free shipping. Most of the items that I've sold are free shipping. I haven't actually charged for shipping because the competition wasn't charging for shipping. So I would be a fool to charge for shipping. Another good thing I sold was an Aztec Mask Clay. And it's really weird because I have never seen that brand before in my entire life. Never, when selling on eBay, I've never come across it. It was actually, by doing research, one of the best clays that as women out there buying or people out there buying for, for beauty related products. So if you do come across that mask clay, do post it, list it, and it will sell. Now this one took relatively long for me to sell. And slowly and slowly and slowly, it was accumulating a lot of views, but no really watchers or anything like that. So it's more of a, people are gonna watch it, watch it, watch it, like see it a lot, 
but eventually it'll flip over time. So just be patient with that one product if you don't think it's selling. I would never in my life thought I would sell this product. Never in my entire career of selling on eBay would I have ever thought that this product would actually sell. Condoms. You heard it right? Condoms. And I laughed the moment it sold. I was like, I don't think this was the one item that I was not going to sell, period, that I was going to end up, I don't want to say use on camera because I don't want YouTube to flag this video. But I thought I was never actually going to sell or flip the item, and I did. I actually sold this for $13.98. Uh, what is it? The Jerex condoms? It should appear right here on the screen. I sold condoms on eBay. So, it, and that's my sister laughing. If you hear that in the background. I sold condoms. If you get condoms in your liquidation box, post them. Literally list them on eBay. As crazy as it sounds, they sell on eBay. It's ridiculous. People buy condoms. I guess nobody wants to have babies when they're in quarantine. But aside from the fact, if you do get condoms, <laughs> do sell them on eBay. They do sell. I mean, it sold for me. I don't think I got lucky because I got a lot of views on the condoms. So give it a shot. And I sold something that I've held on for like since December of 2019 and I still have a whole bunch of them which is a phone case and I've sold two other ones well, actually three other ones in my car which I'm not going to show because it's all about eBay but I sold only one on eBay and word to the wise do not I mean I advise do not buy phone cases they are literally flooded all over eBay. And I made that rookie mistake in 2000, the end of 2019, thinking, all right, yeah, sure, I'll get these phone cases and I'll flip them pretty quickly. But at the end of the day, it was a learning lesson and it's my duty to pass that wisdom on to everybody else. If you're starting out or if you're planning on getting a liquidation box, do not get phone cases. They don't sell. It takes forever to even sell three. It took me from December all the way up to May of 2020 to sell five phone cases. So the next thing I sold was a copper fit, was it a copper fit uh, back pro? It was like a com compression belt. And I know those sell. It took a while, it had a lot of views, but eventually I knew it was gonna sell because compression belts do sell. They are in demand. There's people with back problems, people that work in construction that really need this type of belt. So if you do get it in a liquidation box, make sure you list it right away. It will get views, it might get a watch or two, and you might, and you will end up eventually selling this product. And a rare item that I actually sold on eBay was a Nike shoes that I got off this Nike sneakers app. And I never, I absolutely, if you're a sneakerhead, you know it's almost impossible without a bot to get a sneaker from the sneakers app in Nike. And I managed to get one and I sold it almost instantly because if it sells out quickly, it's in high demand. And this one was a Nike Air Force, was it a tearaway, a, a tearaway reveal. That's the one that it was, the one with the black swoosh. It should appear right here. It's actually a really nice shoe, it's a woman's shoe. And as soon as I bought it, I listed it like a few hours later, it sold right away. And I think I really got lucky by, selling, by actually even copying the shoe. I got super lucky. And any sneakerhead, if you're planning on getting a reselling sneakers, get a bot. <laughs> uh, manually, it's almost impossible to get a sneaker. Uh, so I can really, I mean, I'm not much of a sneakerhead. My partner in business is a sneakerhead and we're just trying to get our feet wet in the sneaker business. And I can tell you, it's really difficult. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's what I sold on eBay in the month of May. On this, well, it's actually a snapshot of what I sold in the month of May. So surprise, surprise, if you do get those random condoms in those liquidation boxes, don't be afraid to list them. It's not weird. People will buy it. Uh, you'll feel weird selling it. And whoever buys it, I bet you they'll feel weird buying it, period. But they do sell. And eBay is a business, so business is business. Don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to list it. List condoms <laughs> and stay safe. So guys, that was it for today. If you found this valuable, please give me a like. And if you do find condoms, uh, do list them. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because the next unboxings that I do, I will probably give away stuff out. 
It could be something random like a gift card or maybe it could be something from the liquidation box itself. So subscribe to my channel and click the notifications button because then you'll be notified when I do these unboxing videos and that way you can participate in my future giveaways. All right, guys, that was it for today. That was it for May. Time to move on to June and make more money. Hopefully, I wish you guys a lot of luck in the month of June and hope you guys also flip money too. And I see, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.